Hi, Alan Stratton from Aswood Turns. It seems that the most discussed tool in my toolbox is the skew. Now, some people would say that it's only good for opening paint cans. I disagree. Now, Alan Lacer would say you need to turn an egg every so often to keep your turning skills up. But I think he misses just a little bit there. I agree, but he misses just a little bit. What An egg involves convex turning. What about concave turning? What do you do to practice concave turning with a skew? Well, here's the solution. A wedding ring or ring holder. Now, with these, you get to practice a concave surface here. And you get a nice little useful object in the result. Now, I've turned two here, one elm and one apricot. The apricot is especially pretty with the grain and the way the grain works. I doubt that you'll be able to see all the details. I wish you were here to see it. But today, let's turn a ring holder or two. There are many fancy ways to mount this wood. Since I use threaded wood face plates that fit my headstock spindle, I like to glue the wood to the face plate faced with a piece of cheap pine. So I'll spread a little medium CA glue on the end of the wood and spray a little accelerator on the face plate stick it together with just a little tailstock pressure. And I'll keep the tailstock in place as long as possible since this butt joint is not particularly strong. I'm wasting the corners in the top end with peeling cuts. They are quick and remove a lot of wood, but they leave the surface rough. But no matter, I'll go over it again several times with the skew in a slicing cut that will smooth it out. Just remember two key points about a skew. First, whether point up or point down, only cut on the bottom one-third of the blade. Second, watch your entry angles. You're not making screw threads. For sanding, I'll start with 180 grit and go up through 400 grit. Finally, I'm applying a shellac friction polish for a nice sheen. After I part it off, I'll clean up the bottom on the sander, followed by some hand sanding with the sandpaper flat on the lathe ways and rubbing the ring holder against the paper. A little more shellac on the bottom, and I'm done. So, how's that for only a few minutes of much needed skew practice with a nice little project that anyone can enjoy to keep track of a wedding ring, or any ring for that matter, on a nice holder. Of course, the holder could be larger and have more features, but this size uses scrap wood and gives me some good skew practice. Please click the like button on this video and subscribe to both my website and YouTube channel. Always wear your face shield. Sorry, you're not invincible. Until next time, this is Alan Stratton from Aswood Turns.